this presentation, I am going to explain about an open source Python library named SGO Server REST, which can handle the geospatial data in the geo server. So, let me give an introduction to geospatial data first. Generally, the data with locational information is called geospatial data. It's used to create geographic models and data visualization for more accurate modeling and prediction of trend. Mapping, surveying, navigation, etc. are the example of this geospatial data. So let's talk about GeoServer now. So GeoServer is an open source server written in Java. It allows users to share, process, and edit geospatial data, that means locational data. It's designed for interoperability. It publishes data from any major spatial data source using open standard like WMS, WFS. It can easily connect to the web maps, web based maps such as open layers and leaflet, which are the library of JavaScript. So let's see the importance of GeoServer. So in the left side, you can see the different type of data sources, and in the middle, is it GeoServer? GeoServer take as the server and then convert this different type of data source into the services like web picture service WFS, web map services WMS, web coverage service WCS, and KML for Google Maps. So here are lots of data sources like vector file or data sources can be a database like PostGIS, Oracle, and other database. And it can be a services like WFS and it also can be a raster data set. GeoTIFF, NetCTF, Image Mosaic, JPEG, 2000, etc. Then GeoServer stores this kind of different kind of data source into the server and then it, it allows user to get this data to WFS, WMS, WCS, and KML services. So, why do we need GeoServer? GeoServer is needed for different kind of services and requests, which are OGC. Some of the OGC standard or requests are WMS web map service, WFS web picture service, and WCS web coverage services. And it, it, it has large number of vector and raster data support, and it provides the nice GUI to handle and visualize the data without knowing coding. It can uh, handle the big data set, like we can store the huge uh, zip file or huge zip file into it. Uh, but that cannot be handled from other mapping libraries directly. So, GeoServer is very important for spatial data management. And okay, let's talk about the GeoServer REST now. So, the GeoServer REST is the open source Python library for management of geospatial data. It, it can share the data between uh, client and server, mainly the geospatial data like raster and vector data. It has already UTK Plus downloads and it's developed under the MIT license. It has four dev dependencies, like for installing this library, you need to install GDAL, PyCore, SiteVG, to be and so on. Okay, uh, let's get an example. So, this one is the Nepal GeoJSON file, which is loaded directly into the uh, map box. And this one is the Nepal, same Nepal district GeoJSON, which is loaded in the GeoServer, which is default view. And this one is through the GeoServer REST API, GeoServer REST library. So here you can see the map is not much attractive, and we need to write the extra block of code for improvement of quality of map. It takes a little bit longer time to load because it's the JSON data and both browser did not fetch the data, large volume of data uh, in short time. So uh, we, we, we face the big data problem uh, uh, while we load GeoJSON directly into the map box or uh, like uh, open layer or in a field. So this uh, this one is the GeoServer default view. So here we, we can improve the loading time. It, it loads faster because it provides the WMS or map services. And it's also not kind of uh, attractive visualization, but it can handle the big data easily. Actually, we can make this map, this GeoServer map, to look like this, but we need to uh, upload our SLD file separately and then configure link between this uh, layer and the style file. But with the help of GeoServer REST, we can achieve everything uh, using this library. Like we can improve the loading time and we can add the attractive visualization and improve the quality of map just by passing some parameter into the function. We'll, uh, I'll explain about this uh, later in the series, but uh, it's the general overview of this GeoServer REST library. 
So uh, the GeoServer REST has major three functionalities like it will create, update and delete the old spaces and it can be create, update and delete the layers like REST topic we have the two different type of data actually layers I mean and these are REST data and vector data REST data are generally called as coverage store and vector data are generally called uh, feature store in GeoServer also we can create, delete and update the style files like we can generate the dynamic style from the uploaded zip file or uploaded raster file or we can uh, define the SLD file by ourselves by passing some parameter into the function. We can discuss about this later in the series. So here is the sample code. This first line of code is uh, for installing GeoServer REST framework. It's uh, for installing this library you need to manually install the JDAL at first and after that we can improve, uh, import it from geo.geoserver. And this line will insert the uh, insert the library geo equal to geo server and geo server link and geo server user and geo server password. And this will create the coverage store. Coverage store means this will upload the raster data into the uh, into the our geo server uh, data directory and it publishes our layer is the name is layer one inside our space demo. So after that we can simply create coverage style that means create the style file for raster. And we can we have to just pass it pass some parameters like raster path, and it will automatically read this raster file and create the style file uh, according to this raster. And then also uh, we can specify style name or space name and color ramp based on this color ramp. Uh, the style file will be automatically generated. And also we can upload the style by simply passing some path to the SLD file and specifying what space, and we have to then publish styles. So here is the same thing for feature style. So we created the feature style and we can publish the feature style.